seven years after a school shooting at Aztec High School, the school district is paying nearly $2 million to the mother of one of the victims. She sued the school district for wrongful death for the shooting and for what they discovered after her daughter died, that she was in a sexual relationship with her teacher. News 13's Annalisa Pardo reports. This was the terrifying scene December 7, 2017, when a school shooter killed two students at Aztec High School. Cheerleader Casey Marquez was one of the victims. After her death, the family faced a new pain. And in fact, there was two monsters on the day of the shooting itself, the shooting, the shooter, as well as J.D. Coulter, who was the teacher at the time. Sam DeFilippo represents Marquez's mom. He says it was after Marquez's death when her cell phone was returned, they found inappropriate text messages from her teacher, James Coulter. We actually determined that Ms. Marquez was actually leaving Mr. Coulter's office uh, somewhere that she was not supposed to be just prior to the shooting occurring. In 2019, Marquez's mom sued the school district for wrongful death for the shooting death of her daughter and for the sexual harassment to her daughter. According to the suit, Coulter admitted to groping her and kissing her. It also states he admitted to inappropriate relationships with other minors as early as 2015. The school district did not take the actions necessary to protect their students. Instead, they protected their teachers, which is something that we would never want to see. Now, years later, the district settled, agreeing to pay nearly $2 million, $750,000 for the wrongful death portion, and $1.2 million for personal injury for the abuse by Coulter. It was an extremely emotionally devastating case for our uh, client. However, she wanted to make sure that this case went through its totality to make sure that these changes would occur uh, within this school district moving forward. Annalisa Sapardo, KRQE, News 13. Court records show in 2019, Coulter pleaded guilty to criminal sexual contact of a minor for an inappropriate relationship with a different student. He was released from prison in 2020. He had to register as a sex offender and the public education department also revoked his teaching license.